I've been with MAPE and my current job for a little over four months. I'm kind of new to this whole union thing, so it's pretty exciting. Um, one of the things that I got involved in doing was attending the, uh, they call it academy here at the Department of Corrections, which is basically the orientation for new employees. And Stephanie had just recently been hired and she came to that orientation session for new MAPE members. And we had our forms right there and <laughs> telling, her that, telling people that they could fill them out and um, we'll take them right there and there and she filled hers out and joined on the spot. Really that was one of the most critical moments of my participation in MATE because they were just so knowledgeable about the, pro about the union, the organization, what it was doing legislatively, what it was doing in the community and you know those are the things that I care about. It's an organization that supports the advancement of women, of uh, women in union leadership, and also women in the mar in the work marketplace. So it was a unique opportunity um, that I was encouraged to take advantage of by our own regional director. Uh, Ella Dean Wickstrom um, through email after like I've only been on my job for like two weeks and so she thought of me which I thought was really you know was a true honor that she would even consider me for something for an opportunity such as this and I decided to go ahead and give it a shot and apply. She did she got it in because the deadline was only like a week away she submitted it and um, got accepted to go. It was a really exciting conference just to meet so many different women um, who are like-minded and they were and they're all about sisterhood and they're about advancing um, equity in the workplace for women as for people of persons of color so it was really interesting to see so many powerful women so many enthusiastic women in one place she just has a good persona in general about herself she's able to present herself she speaks very effectively i think those were things that you know we were looking for in people to help motivate others to participate and we need to recruit new members into um, the MAPE organization and also um, a lot of younger members we need to get more active. So I'm hoping she'll help us do that. You know, and they were excited to see somebody who was so new already fired up and ready to be a part of the union. So that was one of the things that encouraged me most about the conference. So I really felt valued. I really felt like I had a voice, like I had something to contribute. And it just really instilled in me the desire to come back and to really work in MAPE and to contribute to MAPE. You know, we've been talking to her about becoming a little bit more active, too, as she get, has been here a little bit longer, too. So we're excited about it. She's been a real great asset. Well, I think it's exciting because you see new leadership blossoming and you see hope for the future when younger people take on that kind of responsibility and get involved and active and speaking out for benefits and rights of workers. I think those are all important. So it's just, it's kind of exciting to just see that happening. I'm super excited. Um, I'm excited to be a part of um, the strategic planning committee because one of the things they're looking at is how to recruit new members. You know, there's so many opportunities and the sky is the limit and MAPE is really, the MAPE leadership is very, you know, um, accommodating and they really want to know how to do these things because they really want to grow the union. So I'm really excited about some of the tools that I've learned, some of the things from the leadership um, seminars that I can take back and I can apply even in the strategic committee on how to come up with recruitment plans. And in the meeting, I heard about the scholarship opportunities. And afterwards, I asked Ellie, um, I said, Ella Dean, you know, can anybody apply for these scholarships? Or is this just for high school students? She said, no. I said, well, what about professional certifications? Can, are those, those, are those eligible? And she was like, yes, they are. I, you know, went out, found more information about the scholarship, filled out the application, um, answered the questions to the best of my abilities, and ev evidently the best was good enough because I got the scholarship. So I'm really excited because this is something, you know, this professional certification, which is in Six Sigma, um, I've been trying to pursue for over two years, but it's incredibly expensive and it's something that I couldn't afford on my own, but to know that my union cares enough about me to help subsidize that, you know, so I can be of better use and I can make better contributions contributions to the union through my training that really makes it that really is important to me and I do feel indebted to MAPE um, for giving me that opportunity and I do want to use whatever I learned to help grow 
uh, MAPE. Well, I think one of the things that we don't probably promote as well as the opportunities we do have for um, within our own local and our own uh, region and, and within MAPE itself, she can um, provide incentive for other people to get in, involved and see how it can benefit them. I've heard other people's union experiences in my short time here at MAPE and it's nothing like mine. Um, and I think, I thank God that Ella Dean and Diane Greeny has taken such a good, such a huge interest in me and interest in my interest in the union, um, where they were able to help me connect to some of the opportunities here at MAPE. I've been afforded an opportunity to reach my highest potential, and I just believe that MAPE is helping me, you know, facilitate that whole process. It is nice and refreshing to know that my union is helping me in that aspect. So I'm really excited and I'm thankful to MAPE for, you know, taking a chance on a new, on the, on the newest kid on the block you know and seeing that there was something valuable about what I have to offer and just you know hedging their bets and you know hoping for the best so you know I'm really excited I'm truly truly excited